so we got a couple plans today. Tell them, Bolty, what's our plans? Say we're gonna go to the park, and we're gonna go... I was about to do the whole what's up YouTube spiel, but I'm a little tired. Let's get up, let's get showered, and let's get this day going. Day in the life of Joe. So we got a couple plans today. Tell them, Bolty, what's our plans? Say we're gonna go to the park and we're gonna go for a run. Hey, hey. All right, we got the day started. Uh, it's about 11 in the morning, so a little bit of a later start than I wanted to to start the, the vlog today. We streamed last night until like 6.30 in the morning, so I wasn't planning on streaming that long because I knew that I had to do the day in the life vlog today, but it is what it is. A little bit of a later start, so Bolt and I, are uh, headed to the park. We're gonna try to get him tired out for the day. And then I'm gonna run to Best Buy, run to Chick-fil-A, but uh, let's get some fresh air and let's take out the big man. All right, Bolti, do you wanna show the vlog what we can do? His favorite, look at him. Look at him, he is keen. Oh, Sid, no, no, no. All right, Bolty, ready. Whoa, 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 sit down. No, 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 you know better than that. Sit, ready, Bolty, bang. Oh my goodness, my baby boy. So I'm at the dog park right now with Big Bolty. Uh, I'm actually surprised there's nobody out here. Uh, probably because it's a little bit of a chilly day in North Carolina, if you can't tell. I got my hoodie on and uh, it's pretty chilly today, so maybe that's why, but it's been pretty nice. There's nobody else here, so I just can kind of kick it and uh, talk to you guys. Bolt's kind of doing his own thing right now. Usually he wants to like play with his tennis ball or frisbee, but he's just kind of roaming around sniffing. So I don't know what he's looking for, but it's pretty perfect because I can just uh, talk to you guys. And um, I'm really, really excited. Obviously our vlog camera finally came in and uh, really excited to be shooting some more IRL content with you guys. And I really do hope you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. Obviously a step out of my comfort zone. Like I say all the time, I'm not the best talker in the world. So definitely stepping out of my comfort zone to try something new. And I feel like that with vlogs and stuff that this will help me also get out of the house more and uh, kind of do things that aren't just sitting at the setup playing Warzone. And it gives you guys a better in-depth kind of experience on my life and uh, what I like to do in my free time. So if there's any times I'm traveling and stuff, I'm gonna be vlogging. I got some basketball content planned. I know you guys have been roasting me for a while that I'm not a hooper, I'm capping, but trust me, y'all about to see when I get back in shape, we're about to be a bucket. Cause a long time ago, we were somewhat of a bucket, but right now I'm washed. I'm like the dad that's like, Back in my day, I could have gone D1, but trust me, back in my day, I was all right. <laughs> so got some basketball vlogs, also excited. Hopefully we can get a, a tattoo scheduled uh, in LA or Texas. So hopefully we can get a vlog with a new tattoo coming up and uh, really excited to be shooting some more stuff um, outside of Warzone. And I appreciate you guys uh, rocking with me. Before I forget, because I know a lot of you guys asked in chat about this, um, about what kind of car I drive. I do drive a 2014 Ford Mustang V6. Uh, that's been my baby. I've had it since around high school. And uh, you guys know I'm a big car fan, so I would love to uh, someday get a Hellcat. Obviously, if you don't know, my dream, dream, dream car is a Carolina Blue Lamborghini Urus. But, you know, maybe one day, you never know. But uh, before I forget, I do want to show you guys my car because you guys asked me so um, don't roast me because it's dirty but this is my uh, black v6 Ford Mustang Alright guys, we're back on the road again. Sorry for a little bit of a uh, time gap here. It's starting to get dark already. It's like 4 p.m., 4.30, and I hate that it gets dark so early now. I feel like my entire day is like grew, like gone by like five o'clock, but sorry for the little bit of a delay there. I had to take Bolt home and get him uh, get him situated, get him some lunch, dinner, and then I had to hop on a couple of quick phone calls. I am really, really excited. Obviously, I talked to my manager, my editor, what's up, B, and uh, a couple of business partners 
partners today and I really do love um, before I get on stream talking to them I talk to them pretty much almost every day to be honest so I feel good before I sign on that I'm caught up on everything with sponsors with brands with just doing certain things with videos and I'm really excited the end of January the end of or the start of February we got a lot of cool stuff going on I can't spoil too much yet but had a ton of good calls today so we're back on the road going to run by the post office going to get some dinner and then we're signed back home to uh, unbox some stuff and slide on stream let's do it Alrighty guys, we are back at the garage set up here. I got my Chick-fil-A, so about a smack on that shortly. And obviously the lighting in here is way better than when I was in my car, sorry about that. It just got super dark on me really fast, but I'm gonna eat my food. I got some packages to unbox and show you guys. I'm really, really excited to see what we got in the PO box. I gotta record a couple of YouTube intros before I slide on and touch base with my TikTok manager, which I haven't talked to yet today, to make sure we're all set for this weekend and this week. But I'm gonna eat my food and then I will see you guys for this unboxing. So one of the things that I was waiting on in my PO box for a while now that I'm so stoked to have is I got a custom a pair of Air Force Ones from my guy Gico's Customs. He's an artist that paints shoes. He's painted shoes for like rappers, athletes, the whole shebang. Um, the guy's insane. And I actually met him at a Charlotte Hornets game. He recognized me and was like, yo, showed me his work and was like, can I paint you a pair of Joe Woe shoes? And I was like, of course, I love shoes. And uh, you guys got to check these out. Absolutely insane. He painted me a, uh, a pair of Carolina Blue Movement King Air Force Ones. And uh, my guy crushed it. Check these out. Carolina blue, absolutely insane. These look absolutely crazy. Shout out to my guy, man. And last but not least, the absolute best package I got in my PO box was this freaking beast of a monitor, the Samsung Odyssey G5. Now, first and foremost, thank you so, so much to Samsung for sponsoring me, for sponsoring today's video, and for sponsoring the stream. In case you guys missed it, I played on this 32-inch curved 144 hertz monitor, and because of Samsung, I got to team up with two NBA players on the Toronto Raptors, Fred Van Fleet and Chris Boucher. Let's unbox this bad boy. This was the first time I have ever played on a curved monitor. Now, this monitor was an absolute blast to play on. My first time ever, you guys know how close I like to sit to my monitors, and playing on a curved monitor really made me feel immersed in the game. The vivid scenes of the monitor wrap around me while I was playing, and the all-encompassing 1000R display fills every part of my peripheral vision and draws you right into the character's shoes. Like I said, my first ever time playing on a curved monitor, and humongous, humongous shout out to Samsung for sponsoring today's video, and my stream. Please, please click the link down below to check out this amazing G5 monitor and really try out the curved gaming experience. It's about that time to slide on stream. I know a lot of you guys always ask me what I do before I get on and pretty much I straighten up the setup and then just sit here, kind of get mentally prepared, think of everything that I went through today, make sure I'm all caught up, make sure I talk to all my editors and all that stuff, manager, and make sure I'm really set before I go live. Cause there's nothing like going live and then being like, oh crap, I forgot this, or I have to do this, and then trying to do it while I'm streaming. I always feel bad if I'm then ignoring people cause I'm trying to do something that I was supposed to do already. So usually I sit here and uh, kind of get mentally prepared for the day, for the evening, for the morning you know, cause I'm a morning streamer. And uh, yeah, so we're about to go live, about to start the stream up, but I really do appreciate you guys um, showing the love and showing the support on the first vlog. I'm a little nervous to be honest. I don't know how I did my first time ever vlogging. So I guess we'll find out uh, shortly and uh, let's get into it. What's goody? We got our first ever vlog filmed today. Wait. Thank you guys so, so much for clicking on the day in the life video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any suggestions for future vlog content, IRL content, please let me know down below. And I hope you guys have an amazing day.